Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We're going to be working on multi-step equations from word problems and you'll be doing 2.5. Today, students will be able to solve word problems with different steps. And so here we have the first word problem. It says, I buy two boxes of corn and five loose corn ears. Okay, so two boxes of corn five loose corn ears. My friend buys three boxes of corn and one loose corn ear. Okay, together, together we bought 56 corn ears. How many corn ears are there per box? So the two boxes of corn and five loose one will be 2x plus five my friend has three boxes plus one loose one and it says together it means that we're going to put together we're going to add our corn ears we have 56 okay together this means plus and so i'm going to move it in here um Okay, so we have what they're calling combining like terms. Why? Because they are the same, on the same side of the equal sign. So on this side, we have two terms with variables and two terms with no variable, meaning constant numbers. So we're going to combine variables with variables. And so 2x plus 3x equals 5x. And we're going to combine 5 plus 1, which gives me 6, equals 56. So we're combining like terms in there. Then we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. And so we have 5x equals 56 minus 6 is 50. And that means that in the 5 boxes, we have 50 corn ears. We divide by 5, and so x is equal to 50 corn ears divided by the 5 boxes. Each box has 10 corn ears. So it says how many corn ears are there per box? We're going to answer in a complete sentence. There are 10 corn ears per box. Okay. You can always do the check. Remember that for the check, all you have to do is substitute in the original. So I'm going to do it, and it's going to be very tiny here on the side. So I'm going to put in orange this same equation, but I'm going to replace the answer. So 2 times, because remember a uh, number with a variable means multiplication, the value of x is 10 plus 5 plus 3 times 10 plus 1 equals 56. And so 2 times 10 is 20. I bring down the 5. 3 times 10 is 30, and I bring down the 1, it should be equals to 56, is it? And then we start 20 plus 5, 25, plus 30, 55, plus 1, 56. And so 56 is 56, so we say check. Okay, so that means that the answer is correct. Okay, that's just the checkup test where you replace the value that we found for x back here and here, and then you start simplifying each side with PEMDAS until you get one number. And if you had more things in here, you would do the same thing, but right now we only have one number, we just keep bringing it down. It should give you equal on both sides. Okay, let's do another one. It says, I bought a bag 
of oranges and two apples. So a bag of oranges, we don't know how many oranges in each bag, and two apples. Every week for two weeks. Okay. So how would you write that part? Then I bought a bag of oranges the next three weeks. So that's also important. A bag of oranges the next three weeks. In total, I bought 29 pieces of fruit. Okay, so I'm going to write a bag of oranges that will be X and two apples that will be plus two because we know how many apples there are every week for two weeks. That means that I buy this for two weeks, meaning I'm going to multiply by two. Then I bought a bag of oranges the next three weeks. Okay, more oranges, so it's going to be the same X, but it's going to be multiplied by three because we have three weeks. And so that's going to be equals to 29 pieces. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to do distributed property. Okay, I have 10 minutes. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I do distributive property, and so it's 2 times x and 2 times 2. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. I bring down the 3x and equals 29. Sorry, I'm giggling here. <laughs> okay, now after I do distributive property, I'm going to combine like terms okay so i'm going to combine like terms meaning the ones with the variables go together and constants with constants only if they're on the same side so i have here 2x and 3x and so that gives me 5x plus 4 equals 29. Now I'm going to cancel by subtraction. Remember that when we have multiplication and, sub and addition, we cancel the addition first. So cancel by subtraction. So minus 4, minus 4, and why am I writing 5? <laughs> minus 4, minus 4, and so 5x equals 29 minus 4 is 25. Finally, if we're multiplying, the opposite of multiplication is division. So we divide by 5, and that's equals to 1, but we don't put it. 1x equals 25 divided by 5 is 5. Okay? Um, let me do the check. Since I did this, uh, the solution in, in orange, I'm going to do the check, the checkup test in blue. So I'm going to put 2 times inside of the parentheses I'm going to put the 5 instead of x so 5 plus 2 plus 3 times again the value of x is 5 equals to 29. And basically it should be is it equal to 29? And then we say oh we can either do PEMDAS with parentheses first or distributive property, it's up to you. So 5 plus 2 is 7. I bring down the 2. Plus, we can already multiply this. 3 times 5 is 15 equals 29, is it? And then 2 times 7 is 14 plus 15, is it equals to 29? And finally, 14 plus 15 is 29 equals 29. Since they come up equal, that means that, yes, our answer is correct. Okay? Now, don't forget to write the sentence because it says, how many oranges are there in a bag? So, there are five oranges in each bag. 
Something that I want to note is that before, in previous lessons, I said, okay, you need to make sure that you tie this up. It says, I bought a bag of oranges and two apples. The contents are different, but how do they make it so that it's talking about the same thing? In the question, it says, in to oh no, in, in the last statement, it says, in total, I have bought 29 pieces of fruit. Now, the question says, how many oranges in each bag? And the reason is because in the bags, there are always oranges. It's not either apples or oranges. So that's why they can ask how many oranges per bag, okay? If it was also bags with the same number of apples, then you can say fruit, but it's only oranges in the bag. Okay, we have one more in here. And he says, Blanca and Marvin got the same number, okay, the same number of oranges. Blanca got four boxes of oranges and three loose ones. Loose means like outside of the bag, okay? It doesn't mean that you lost them. Um, Marvin got two boxes and 47 loose ones so marvin okay so in here what we're going to put is that they have the same that means that blanca has certain amount marvin has a certain amount and they have the same meaning equal okay so i'm going to put the amount of blanca which is four boxes and three loose ones marvin has two boxes and 47 loose ones and they have the same meaning equal okay so that's very important to understand when we have the same that means that both have equal now in here we cannot have variables on both sides of the equation so we're going to cancel the variable term okay on on the other side of we cannot have that cancel the whole term this whole term cancels for x minus 2x. Now we have 2x plus 3 equals 47. And now it looks easier because if you're adding, we subtract 3 from both sides. Remember that if we have multiplication and addition, the addition cancels first. And then we get 2x equals 47 minus 3. It's 44. If we're multiplying, the opposite is to divide. And so x, meaning each box, box has 44 divided by 2 is 22. Okay? So, for the check, let me see if I have enough room here. For the check, I'm going to get this equation, and I'm going to replace it with 22 for x. So 4 times the x is 22 plus 3 should be equal to 2 times 22 plus 47. Sorry that I don't have enough space in there. That's 47. I multiply 4 times 22 is 88 plus 3 equals... 2 times 22 is 44 plus 47. 88 plus 3 is 91. And also 44 plus 47 is 91. So um, that's the right answer. And the sentence, don't forget, each box has 22 oranges. Okay, so that will help you do 2.5 and have fun.